I am Shaniqua B and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am here to review the famous $100 TikTok 4K digital camera. That's what it's called, the 4K digital camera when you go look for it on Amazon. But the Amazon, but the link will be in the description. Okay, so. Here it is. So it comes with a card from the company that says, if you have any questions or need any help, please reach out and they have a QR code so you can get to it easily. Then they have the instruction manual. We're coming to this. Uh, two batteries. The charging pack for the battery. The adapter, the USB. I don't know what this is. Two caps. And then he has the macro lens for you to attach to the front of the camera. Cute. Okay, and then of course, you have your camera. Okay, so I got the pink camera, so it's not $100. The black camera is $100. The pink camera was like $119 or $120 something. I'm not sure, but um, it's a such thing. It's called pink tax. Just like if you get a red car, they charge you more for it. Pink tax, red tax, red sports car. It's a little bit more for a pink phone, pink, pink camera. But, um, yes, let's add this. There we go. 4K digital camera. That's the flash, the power button, the camera button, or the shooting button, microphone, or the speaker, uh, where you put the microphone, and then the five settings that they have. And then the front. Uh, my macro lens provides you a wider lens. As if you have this off, it'll be a skinnier screen. Okay, it took about two days to ship once I got it, and I do not have Amazon Prime. Do not pay for the extra shipping. No, I'm playing. Um, my fiance has Amazon Prime, so I use his if I want to live faster. But it was no sense in both of us having Amazon Prime or paying for it. Okay, so camera settings i played around with it for a little bit and changed it and looked at stuff but i ended up taking it back to default settings because it looked fine to me it looked best that way i don't know if i don't know what i'm doing i did not read the manual in detail but yeah i, I just took it back so you can leave it on those settings that you have or well, that they already have default settings okay so it has five settings, the button right here. You can take a photo, take a time photo, recording, slow-mo recording, fast action recording, and your gallery. So you can go back and view. Let's turn it on. It says welcome. And there it is. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I bought this camera because I had the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it does not allow you to flip the camera around when you're recording. And I didn't like that. I had to keep stopping and starting the video back. So if you have the iPhone or older model, then you probably would want to get this camera because of that. That's all I can say right now about that. I don't know. But that's why I got it. And um, I do like that, so I don't have to turn around, just flip it out, do what I need to do. Oh, my neck long. <laughs> okay, so picture quality, uh, I will say that my iPhone's picture quality is better than this. Um, and I'll put it side by side on the screen so you can see. Video quality, same with the video quality. 
it's better on your iPhone than it is on the camera. Um, sound quality, it is better on the iPhone than it is on the camera. Let me turn this off. So you will need a microphone. This quality, the sound quality on here is horrible. Zero out of 10, I would not recommend. So um, I already have a microphone. You can slide this out. I thought I had, oh, okay. Slide that out and attach it. If I can get it, but you just slide it on there. I don't know why it's not going. Oh, it's too tight. So loosen it up and then tighten it back on there. So it won't move. My hair, it don't move. <laughs> But yeah, so you attach that like so. And preferably, I prefer you get this one because if you got the little fuzzy one, it'll block your flash. And you don't want to do that. So it has a microphone port on the side. Just put that in there and you're ready to go. Um, and it works so much better with this. With this, 7 out of 10, kind of recommend. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's about it with that charging time it takes two hours for each battery to charge so two hours for this to fully charge and then the battery only lasts an hour and 30 minutes so if you have to go to a class or something and it's going to take a while make sure that you carry both batteries with you so you can switch them out take your charger with you if you can so you can charge one while the other one will use one while the other one is charging because mine died in a class that i was taking and I had to use my shoot the rest of it on my phone so yeah take this so you might want to buy a carrier case for your iphone for your camera and everything that goes with it um like i said the battery lasts one hour and 30 minutes uh focusing that's a down of con too when you're recording a video it does not have good focusing so you have to like tap just tap not fully push but just tap it and you have to just hold it lightly for it to stay in focus so zero out of ten would not recommend it on your iphone of course you just push record and it goes i definitely do not like this i did not hold it on mine but it was kind of it was close to me so if it's more than three feet away from you then you would have to hold this button if it's three feet or closer then you don't have to hold the button so, but uh, weird i don't know but you get what you pay for a hundred dollars you're not gonna get too much out of this but for what is what i paid for it i would say it's worth it so um it does have an app that you can download and you can upload the pictures and the videos to whatever get the pictures off but for some reason my app won't connect to my wi-fi so i haven't been able to use it so zero out of ten um the app for the for your phone to connect is xdv pro so um my pins the pros like i said if you have an iphone 12 pro max or older a uh, older model then the pros to it would be that you don't have to keep stopping and starting your camera to flip around you can just use this um, that's the only pro I have. Yeah, that's the only pro I have. The cons, microphone, you will need to buy these. So that's extra money that you have to spend. Um, the video quality is okay. I'll insert a video so you can see. Sound quality is better with a microphone. Without it, it's horrible. Um, and then when you're recording, like I said, you have to hold that focus down if you're more than three feet away. So, yeah, that's how it comes. So, my opinion, if you have an iPhone 12 Pro Max or older, and if unless if you're okay with switching your camera around, just keep your camera. And if you have an iPhone 12 Pro Max or 13 and newer version, use your phone. There's no reason for you to spend a hundred dollars on these. Just save your coins and buy a new phone, buy a new camera. 
uh, like an eight hundred dollar camera. I definitely am gonna get me a Canon, but it's like a thousand dollars. But yeah, I definitely will be stepping my game up when it comes to it. But yeah, that's that's it. But um, honestly, I haven't decided if I'm gonna return it or not. I'm gonna do play with it some more and see how it goes. And then, but right now, if I had to decide right now, right now, I would send it back. I would just use my phone and start and stop the video. You can now, you gotta edit your videos anyway before you upload them to YouTube. So I send it back and I just do that until I save my coins. Thank you for watching.